Hi guys, welcome back to another Daily Tarot card. These are your Daily Tarot cards for Tuesday, December 8th, 2020. We're pulling from the Wonderland Tarot cards. So just keep in mind, guys, that um, in two days um, that Hanukkah will start. So uh, Thursday at sunset, we start Hanukkah. And it's going to be um, the first day and the last day are, are uh, longer than usual because there's a prayer that's like 15 minutes long to celebrate the incoming of the holiday. And any of you that are booking readings at that time, I, I gave well enough notice for this that you're going to either be early in the morning or you're going to be later in the evening. So um, I, I cannot give specific times because every day is different. Obviously, you know, um, depending if the kids participate or not, um, you know, everything will be different. So if you are uh, wanting to get a reading on those times on the weekends or like after Shabbat, just know that, you know, everything will be adjusted to that for eight days until Hanukkah is over. Um, if you are going to book a reading, please confirm, say absolutely. Yes, I'm going to show up because when you don't show up, it just bugs, you know, yes, I could pull other people forward, but because, you know, we're starting to have a wait list now. So it's usually a wait list of six people now. So if you sit there and cancel, yes, other people get to move up, but it just, you know what I mean? Sometimes I get channel messages for you. And I sit there and I channel the energy. I write everything down and then I'm ready to read for you. You don't show up and it's just like, well, you know what I mean? So just I need absolutely, yes, I'm going to, uh, yes, absolutely, yes, I want my reading. I understand some of you don't want to pay until like the hour before, which is totally fine. I understand that. But please, for the respect of everybody else that is on the waiting list, it is six people deep right now. Just make sure if you are not sure and you're like, you know what, I'm going to wait till the new year, please let me know. It just helps me out so I can move forward with other people. So we're starting off with temperance here. So we have one foot in the water and we have one foot on the ground. I feel like this is balanced with our emotions. I feel like some of us are having this journey of um, like a shadow is coming up, like the shadow energy. And it's like, well, the new moon's not till the 14th. Why is this coming up? I have this. And I was actually talking to my good friend about this Hajra. A lot of you know her, um, you know, and I was just like, you know, I don't know why I'm feeling this way. And then it just ticked with me that it is because at the end of the month is when my, my late husband passed away. I was a young widow, you know, winter for survival mode, fought my damnedest to be where I am now. And I feel like, you know, for some of you, this is going to be a path of enlightenment. Because if you look at that sun, it's not like a big blue, uh, like a big blue. It's not a big yellow, bright sun. But it it kind of looks like a third eye with the eyelashes there. You know what I mean? I feel like they did that on purpose. Because if when you go further into the other cards, I believe it was the Hierophant, which is the caterpillar. I feel like that's where they touch. This is a path of enlightenment. So we're going through this cycle. And I feel like they're saying that you're going to be on a grounded path to enlightenment. You don't see any obstacles in the way. It's just a clear path. So I feel like this is where they're talking. They're touching on the shadow energy. A lot of water imagery in the cards for this. So the the hatter, the, 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 the hare, the messenger takes a ham sandwich out of his bag. He wears the, the, cost, the uh, costume of an Algo Saxon page. He looks into the bag and sees nothing more than hay. He has one foot on land and one foot in the water. An unverif, an unvying of the force of the work of on the body and the mind. A long road winds through the background. The road he has traveled to arrive must travel in order to leave. Moderation, temperance, what comes with um, compromise and um, compatibility, a mixing of things and unanimity, an ability to recognize and analyze, no excessive tendencies, maintaining a good image, possible being too temperate the past the present and the future that's a lot but i feel like you know we're going through this cycle like a lot of people are highlighting december uh 21st personally i feel like everything is good now i feel like we you know i, I feel like one of the cards i think this was the devil card that we were you know the last four years have been this freaking hell show for a lot of people you know, especially, you know, the gay, the LGBTQ, 
um, you know, the, the uh, black community, the brown community, I felt like, you know, they felt it more than anyone, you know? Um, I feel like this change had to happen because it's like, you know, it was going too far. The pendulum got stuck there. And it's like, you know what? With cough, cough and everything else, it was way too much. I felt like everybody was giving up hope. And I feel like November 4th was that day of hope for a lot of us. You know, it was just like, you know, uh, when you put policies in place saying like, you know, a, a marriage should be only between a man and a woman, you know, you're this, you know, old, you know, billionaire telling everyone a marriage should be between a man and a woman, but you hear you are cheating on your wife with, you know, 400 million other women paying them off so they don't speak. So it's like you sit there and value marriage so much and you're worried that, you know, two people you do not agree with being married and it's only the two of them getting married, not them in the whole community, just them. But here you are, you know, paying off women to not to speak. You know, I try not to get political, but this, that kind of stuff pisses me off. So, you know, I'm going to use my platform to speak. So we go to the Hierophant, which is the caterpillar smoking on his hookah. The caterpillar sits on the mushroom throne, smoking his hookah and thinking about life, taking not the slightest notice of anything. He smiles and uh, been belivenant. The two sides of the mushroom, one of growing and one of shrinking. Contrast of good and the evil sides of life. The caterpillar will disappear, leaving Alice to choose her own path. In reverse, extreme um, arrogance, especially towards religion. So it's, I feel like, you know, when we were reading for IG, it's like not seeing both sides of the coin. You know, you only see your side. Like I said, you see, oh, marriage should be through a man and a woman. And that's that. Because you don't agree that, you know, gay people should get married. But it's like you sit there and you're like the sanction. We have to, you know, um, what was the one thing that they said in 90 Day Fiance? To, to maintain the human species. I'm like, science totally debunks that now. We need to update these rules. You know what I mean? And you're sitting there sleeping with everybody under the planet. So how is marriage, you know, this holy grail? You know, when it comes to relationships, when you sit there and you're pissing all over it, when these people actually will treat it the way that it should be. You know what I mean? Like, we're all created equally, so you need to have a seat. These rules need to be reworded, honestly. Gullibility. Uh, repeat errors. So you haven't learned the lesson the first time, so gullibility. You're, you're being gullible. You're sitting there and eating up whatever this person is serving, and it's like, nope. An, able, an, an ability to cope with different philosophies. So like, you know, we talk about, you know, the dark side of the moon. We we believe that it's there. We talk about it, but it's like you can't see it. But we know it's there. So it's just like, you know, just because you see the, the, the light side of the moon and we have photographs and we've landed on it and everything else, you know, whatever else you want to say about it. But it's just like you've got to you've got to be more open minded to the other sides of things. So you have the king of hats. You can see his island is quite small and he's surrounded by this chaotic waters. So this, I feel like this is our emotions, you know, putting yourself in a self-imposed prison, you know, so you sit there and you had a big island and you started chipping away at it. You know, that's what our, our negative ego, you know, does to us. It starts chipping away on, you know, our stability until it comes smaller. So it's our, we have to start fighting back and making that island big again. So we've, we build up our, our security and our safety and, you know, our, we build up the positive ego. Stopping the negative ego before it gets out of hand. So, um, flaring temperament. So we keep getting temper here, you know, We're talking about our temper. So we got to watch our tempers. Trickster, injustice, loss or ruin, an unredeemable character. So I feel like it's like, you know, the shadow side of things, you got to build that up, back up. Don't build yourself a self-imposed prison. Next, we're going to go to the devil here, the Jabberwocky. The Jabberwocky is pure evil and has a long neck, sparring from the head and bulging eyes. For um, reigning teeth, his legs are outstretched in attack position. The frightened hero... Is prepared to fight the monster with his uh, Viper Blade. The Jabberwocky is the story of man overcoming a monster 
who has killed many people and terrorized the countryside. And this is where I got into with the temperance because I read for IG. So I know exactly what this was leading to. So it's just like, you know, terrorized, you know, us for four years. And now it's like, now we're seeing the flip side, the hope side of things where the, the earth is now swinging the other way. The pendulum has swung the other way now. It illustrates the human hope that one day good will overcome evil from once and for all. And I feel like that's, I don't know if it's going to be once and for all. I think that's, um, you know, we know that, you know, the pendulum will swing back the other way, you know, usually does in politics, but hopefully not to the extreme. I hope and pray that they put policies in place that this will never happen again, because, you know, I feel like if you're not doing a good job, I feel, you know, um, Chris Rock brought this up on SNL when he hosted he said, if you're not doing a good job, you should be able to be fired. And I agree with that. If I feel like if you're not doing what you're supposed to do and you're hurting people and dividing people, I feel like you should be able, I feel like you should be fired. You know, it, it's enough with the, the, the impeachment that gets us nowhere. I feel like, you know, if the whole house does not stand by their leader, I feel like, you know, you know what? I'm sorry. Thank you for your valid effort, but you're not what we thought you were going to be. So the eight of flamingos, I feel like this is dealing with home issues as well. I love what the flamingos is supposed to be swords, but I love how they stand guard of um, each character as they come along in this. Um, so I feel like, you know, with the temperament, this could be at home. Maybe there's something happened in the home to cause this uh, temperament. Uh, censor and censorship. Bad news. Temporary bondage. A person demanded by another person or by a situation. Making one's own prison. This is where I get into the shadow side of things. Where I said, you know, they're not all the time, but it's like certain. I don't know why it hit me hard this month, but you know, especially the cu past couple of days, it's just like um, that insecurity of uh, of the the beginning of a month. Because you know, talking to my good friend Hajra, it's just like I realized right there and then. And the reason I share that is because I notice a lot of you are going through the same, but not exact same situation, but a shadow energy where it's like, we're, it's that self-imposed prison that kind of, kind of tries to creep in on us. You know, like the king, we're putting ourselves on this stranded island. So it's like fighting back and building that island back out. So like I said, that insecurity that he had, you know, physically left us. And it's like, here I am left to face the Jabberwocky by myself, you know, the people that totally took advantage of the situation and tried to put more on my shoulders that I could handle and try to break me. And I told one person I was talking to, you know, don't let, keep note of those people because when you come out of this and you're out of your widow fog, I'm like, you can fight back, you know, avoiding conflict at that time. Cause we know how fragile we are. It's like everybody battles through everyday life, but someone that deals with that is dealing with widow fog, stress, the insecurity, the depression, the anxiety, like you have no idea walking through that journey is everyone thinks like, Oh, it's, it's, it, you know, you'll be fine. You know, you can get over it. It's like, no, 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 no. Our bodies is running 10,000 times worse, you know, of, of everyday life. You know, it, it's like, you're, you're just constantly processing things. Your brain is ready to burn out. So those people, you know, shame on them that try to sit there and add more onto your, your shoulders than you already are dealing with. So I told her, keep in mind of those people, you know, because it will come back to them. And I've seen it. it you know, karma is a, the B word. So this is fighting back in our shadow self, you know, that insecurity. I know what it is. And, you know, in 18 years, I've been late once with my rent and I never have to worry about that again. So, you know, just keep, I keep fighting, you know, I, every single month we're fine. So I'm, I'm, it's like, I'm taking that insecurity. I'm taking that bad energy. I'm crushing it up and making it something positive. You know, funny enough, I'm going through this. And so is, you know, a friend of mine. And we were able, you know, to, you know, talk to each other because we both walked the same path. Conflict or to serve distress. So it's sickness. So don't build yourself in pole prison because I'm very much feeling like this eight of hats. Or excuse me, the king of hats, where it's like a lot of us are putting ourselves, allowing our emotions to take over. And it's like, fight that back out. Fight, build that island back out where you feel more strong and stable and secure. You know, build your island and then start building a mountain on top of it. So you're so above sea level, they can't even touch you. So, you know what I mean? And it's not in a negative way. I'm not, I'm not acting like you're better than anyone else, but sitting there and saying, you know, everything is fine. Put one foot in front of the other. 
But just keep in mind, guys, you don't know what people are going through. But if you know someone that has lost someone, th keep in mind of that. Not only they're dealing with everyday life, but depression, anxiety, stress. You know, they're, they're sitting there and they're in shock. They're going through widow fog. So it's just like our widower fog. It's just like they're processing a lot. So just take it easy on them. You know, try to make their life a little easier. Make them a hot meal and say, you know what? Instead of cooking dinner tonight. You know, I, I cook dinner for you. Something, something you know, take their garbage out for them. You know, I know it's social distancing, so ring the doorbell and leave a nice note for them so they don't have to worry about one thing less they got to worry about. You know, be kind to people, you know. Like they said, in a world where anything else, you know, we're all worried about TikTok and selfies and everything else, be kind to others, if anything. You know, I you can tell if someone's smiling underneath a mask or if they're trying to give you a snarly look. Eyes tell a lot. So, you know, if you're going through this shadow energy, sit there and try to figure out what's triggering you. Is there something from the past that around this time of the year or this time of the month that is trying to trigger you and trying to pull you into that negative side? And you stop it right there and say, nope, I know exactly what this is and I'm not going to let it take me down because this is a false insecurity. And you could crush it up and make it into something positive. So I hope you guys enjoyed these daily tarot cards for Tuesday, December 8th. 2020. May the universe bless you good. We'll see you for the next Daily Tarot card. Bye.